Hi, my name is Nigel Williams and I'm a Solutions Architect for Hewlett Packard Enterprise and I'm here today to talk to you about RMC. Now the first question I often get asked is what is it? And to be fair, that's a valid question. It's a hidden gem that we've had for quite a while but we don't shout about enough. So it's worth finding out about the background of it to see where it becomes now, now that we've added some enhancements. Now it started out originally as a snapshot manager for 3PAR. A customer could take snapshots off a 3PAR array and make them application consistent. Now of course we can do it with the versions everyone expects like SQL, 3PAR, but we've also got it for the lesser known ones like SAP HANA. VMware and Hyper-V. Now that's all very well and good but you need that to move forward. So what they added to that was an ability to start to field these snapshots to a store once by the use of a product we called internally Express Protect which is now part of RMC. That gave you an ability to archive off older snapshots and application consistent level over to more value based storage. Now that's all great, but if you've only got those two products, it's of limited use. So what we've done with it through enhancements is added this through to support Nimble. This meaning that you can take snapshots from both environments and both hardware platforms to send those through to a store once. Now the beauty of that is that once it's on the store once, it can go straight through via Catalyst to the cloud using Cloud Catalyst Copy. Now, all very well and good, we might say that can go to a particular cloud, but we do have a number of supports. You can either go to a public cloud provider through AWS or Azure, or if you want to keep it as a private cloud, we can even build you on ourselves with Scality and go straight to that via S3. It can go even further. Now that we've, we have this support and in version 6.2, we're going to be able to do exactly the same thing from our new HPE Primera platform thus meaning that you'll have an ability to take any of our storage environments, use RMC to field those application-aware snapshots through to a store once and through onto cloud. This will, of course, satisfy the old 3-2-1 rule. Three copies of the data, two different types, one off-site. Now, you'll notice I've got a Nimble here that hasn't really got anything pointing it to at the moment, and it's not just up there for show. What we also have the ability to do within RMC is a function called peer copy. Now what peer copy has done is given us a bit more flexibility with what we use so that a store once is no longer an absolute requirement. What we're able to do here is to take any of the pieces of hardware as it goes and of course the pen likes to run out so that it can make me draw a couple of times bring it straight through to RMC. And then RMC can take those snapshot managements and do peer copies either to a store once, as it did before, or we can go straight to a Nimble array. And all of a sudden this gives us a degree of flexibility. If you already have a Nimble array in the environment, you can place a Primera or a 3 par in there and move Nimble to DR. And you don't have to sacrifice the functionality there you can use RMC to seamlessly move those snapshots you're taking in between. And just like the store wants can go to the cloud via Cloud Catalyst, you could then use Nimble to take those snapshots to the cloud via Nimble Cloud Volumes, now known as HPE Cloud Volumes. In essence, this satisfies data flow because when you're looking for an intelligent data platform that can give you not only a backup environment, but also the ability to move data to where you need it, moving from A to B isn't enough, you need choice. And what started out as a very cool application that moved from one product to another product has now been expanded to give you options, which as an IT operator or a customer is what you want. This way, we've got a whole bunch of choice, a number of cloud options, a number of cloud directions, and a number of source platforms. So you're not being funneled into one particular choice to achieve a goal. And the important thing about this, it's free. As long as you have one of these platforms here, 
you're, it's available to download RMC from InfoSight and just start using it. And the thing that's worth bearing in mind is the copies that sit in the cloud are fully self-describing. This means that not only in Catalyst and cloud volumes, there is no requirement to have an reliance on the appliance that replicated the data to them. You could lose those in either case and you'd still be able to pull the data back in full integrity, thus giving you a full satisfaction of 321, the data at all areas, both primary, DR and cloud. I hope the talk has been of some use. For more information, please go to hp.com forward slash storage. Thank you.